But we started it. This one. Coming. Boom. 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 Boo -doo 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 -doo. Wait, is it this thing? Go and help the scene of the incident. Zalmor's crevice tantal. travel thing okay I don't know actually can I finish wolf request yet you need pyra in the party oh weak all right we gotta go talk to dad I'll be like, hey, so that lady I was trying to kill is gone now? Oh. Oh, yeah. It happens. It's part of life. Ugh. Fucking Pyro. Getting all captured and stuff. Are you all right to be up and about? Yeah. I'm all healed up. Sincere apologies. If I hadn't attempted to destroy the Aegis, they would never have. If you'd done nothing, they'd have come for her anyway. You're not to blame, Your Majesty. It's... my fault. Five hundred years ago, this kingdom was rent in twain. Some followed Adam, who sought to live with blades and titans as equals. Others opposed him, preferring to consider humans as the masters and titans as our tools. When Adam returned to the Aether, his rivals seized power, leveraging the power of the Omega Fetter. They declared themselves the Tantalese Royal Dynasty. Claiming they were the hero Adam's descendants. Precisely. My ancestors merely used the name of the beloved Adam in order to win over the people. Hmm. Before long, we resolved to protect ourselves from meddlesome foreigners by descending deep into the Cloud Sea, taking the dirty secret of our family's lineage with us. Wait, so the was Praetorium, that for their part, did not protest. Can you guess why? No. They offered to stay silent in exchange for a certain resource. An annual tribute comprising a fixed quantity of core chips. <gasps> I have something I wish to show you. What is it? What is this? This is Gembu's ether flow. The Titan draws in the fabric of the Cloud Sea and uses it as a source of energy. This energy flows throughout the Titan's body in the form of ether. Refining and crystallizing this ether creates core chips. Oh, shit! This process is what you see before you. So, in other words, you're siphoning away a portion of the Titan's energy. Our cold climate and poor harvests, they are the unfortunate side effects of this process. I think I'm beginning to understand. Core chips are vital to every nation's military and energy policies. The Praetorium desired this power. How come? All rest at the time was in crisis. But for the Praetorium, it was a precious chance to expand their sphere of influence. So they messled in? As a result, Tantal fell into a chronic energy shortage. 
Then, well, you saw for yourselves. Near frozen earth, failing crops. The Tantalese people are forced to live in abject poverty. So why not just leave the Cloud Sea? Genbo can move, right? Just go somewhere warmer. They fear contact with other nations. Too afraid it might expose the truth behind the legends they spun about Adam. That would explain their isolationism. Indeed. That was five centuries ago. Now the Aegis has awakened. The Praetorium is demanding we hand over the Omega Feta. They are threatening to reveal our secret if we do not acquiesce. Indola? Threatening you? I get it now. That's what was in that letter. Enough was enough. I couldn't stand by and let the Tantalese people suffer any longer. Therefore, I made a decision. And that's why you... Yes. I knew there was a chance that the Praetorium would use the Aegis against us. But if I could neutralize her power, perhaps we would stand a chance of opposing them. And perhaps by saving my people from poverty, I could absolve the sins of my forefathers. You didn't think about using the Aegis's power yourself? Wielding such power is beyond my means. I am under no illusions. However, does the same apply to you? I felt something. When I looked in your eyes, I knew. Perhaps you are the one to whom we can entrust the Aegis's power. Father, in the end, it seems I only managed to make things worse. I can blame nothing but my own judgment. This tome records the deeds of the hero Adam. According to this, he saved the world from destruction using a white sword and then disappeared along with a red sword. White and red? It must mean Mithra and Pyrus swords. Whoever wrote this must have had a personal connection to Adam. And, most curiously, after Adam disappeared, the author of this book went looking for something. Something. The third. Aegis sword. There's a third. Apparently, this sword was as transparent as diamond and gave off a clear, brilliant light. But Adam went his whole life without using the sword. In fact, he could not use it. Fucking not as a shit. The sword was simply too powerful. Even he, the legendary hero, could not contain the power it commanded. And thus, fearing its power, he sealed it away somewhere. The author, therefore, surmised that this sword alone was the one true sword of the Aegis. Now, Rex, you were defeated by Jin. Doubtless that man is a powerful warrior. But even so, can this be right? Can the Aegis herself truly be outmatched by a single opposing blade? Would it not make more sense to presume that you lost because you have yet to unlock the true power of the Aegis? You mean, I'm the one who's been holding them back? Yes!
Your Majesty, where is that sword? We have to... we have to find it somehow. We have to find that sword and rescue Pyro and Mithra. Regrettably, the book does not specify the sword's location. But there must be. However, reading between the lines, it seems the author suspected that the sword lies somewhere in Leftheria. It's not much, but that's where I would begin the search. In Leftheria. Are you ready? Huh? Are you ready to do what it takes to be their true driver? Grants? Well, are you, Rex? Yes! Of course! I'm going to be the driver that Pyra and Mithra deserve. And then, I'm going to take them to Elysium. Then come with me. I'll show you the way. You're useful for once! Holy shit! My son. Yeah? I have a favor to ask of you as your king. Well, that's a first. Are you feeling okay, old man? Maybe you're coming down with something. The Aegis needs... No, rather, the boy needs protection. <laughs> Go pick him up, summon CBS. Yes, I saw something in that boy's eyes. A light that must never go out. <laughs> Steady on, old man. People get the wrong idea. Fine. Leave it to me. Thank you. Nah, it's not like I wasn't gonna go with him anyway. God, that guy in the back looks so fucking bad. Who the fuck designed that character and said, yep, I'll do. You really Tell can't judge a book it. by its cover. Who'd have thought that sweet-looking girl would threaten to destroy herself? Didn't she realize taking her own life would mean the boy died too? Oh, she knew exactly what she was doing. The whole thing was a bluff then? No, not at all. The reason she gave her core crystal to the boy was to replace his heart after Jin put paid to it. An Aegis core encodes the blueprints for all life. She took advantage of that. Incredible. I had no idea such a thing was possible. Aegises truly are a breed apart. Cores are constantly accumulating data about the outside world. I don't world. know what just happened. Something important happened, The fact happened, that right? their injuries are mirrored is a result of their twin cores exchanging information. If you wanted to be poetic about it, you could say that their very lives are intertwined. But there's nothing to stop her from severing that link. What do you mean? Before issuing the kill order to the Artifice, she would have transferred the remainder of her core to the boy. Letting him live on, heart complete. An Aegis can survive for a short time without a core crystal. Don't ask me why. It's just how we were made. Dude, Shulk was dead too. Ah, so that's the reason Jin agreed to her terms. He couldn't care less about the boy. But he wasn't about to lose this one. Simple as that. What's up with Xenoblade Chronicles and the main character being dead? That's strange. That's cool, but it's strange. Oh shit. <clears throat>
Come on, Rex. For the moment, let's return to Fonsed Village. Back to the village? I'll explain everything in detail once we get there. Just head to Fonsed for now. Alright. Don't know why he can't tell me on the way there. Like, we could just fuck do that. You know, whatever. Xenoblade 3. The main character is a ghost. <laughs> I'm actually worried, though. I'm worried that Xenoblade 3 will never happen. Did this game do well in terms of sales and stuff? Because, um... I don't know. Did it do good? Oh, okay. Okay, as long as it did good. Because it got a lot of flack, you know? So... I got worried. Fonset Electric there. There we go. It's the damn gotcha? I guess so. I guess I'm more so worried that the next Xenoblade's gonna be a mobile game. That was a slog. Because the gotcha and shit, slog. you know? That'd be a shame. What are we doing here? Did you know Fonset has another name? Huh? Hero's Rest. Hero? As in? Indeed. Fonset Village was founded by Adam himself at the end of his travels. Oh. After the war, Adam charged me with protecting the village. Oh. Was this village really that important? What do you think I was protecting? You mean it's... Follow me. Oh, shit! What are the fucking odds, dude? That's that main character fucking coincidence luck right there. This is why you always build luck builds in games, guys. You always build into luck. Because it's gonna pay off. Statistically speaking. You know? Ziggs is playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2 again! The Village Guardian. Just looks like a stone pillar to me. They say that the village's guardian spirit dwells within. Gramps, what are we doing here? Rex, try turning the stone tablet clockwise. This? Hmm. <laughs> This crest, it's... Ooh. I've seen it before. Place your hand on it. Here goes. What? Well, what's this? This passage leads into the very center of the archipelago. There lies the cavern known as Spirit Crucible Elpis. That's quite a name. This entrance and the gate of the Spirit Crucible are sealed in such a way that only a Leptherian can open them. Ah, so that's why Jin needed me back then. Yep. Tell me about when it. When Adam founded this village, he hid something deep within the body of the titan that forms the archipelago's center. You mean... the missing sword? Hmm. I don't know how word of it got out. But many were led here by rumors of the legendary sword. More than a few have entered the spirit crucible. But... None have ever returned. Is it really that dangerous? 
Adam wanted to ensure that the sword was securely sealed away. He put many measures in place to stop it falling into the wrong hands. Only the hands of someone worthy. Adam said that taking this sword would be the mark of the Aegis's true driver. The true driver? What do you say, Rex? I'll do it. No. I have to do it. Every moment we waste, Pyra and Mithra could be. Then you're ready for what lies ahead? Okay, question, chap. I'm really confused right now. So, with this weapon that he's coming to get, this is another blade, so another character as well? Or just a sword? No? Okay. If you hadn't interfered back then, neither of us would have had to go through all this. Now then, time to take back what I lost 500 years ago. This is How he's still alive with his crystal in that state? Seriously, it's not normal. The Aegis is the master blade. The first blade the architect forged. Malos can do things we can only dream of. And how's he going to restore his core exactly? He'll extract the data he's missing from the core of the other Aegis. Then all his power will be restored. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what will that do to her? <laughs> well, if she's lucky, she'll live. <laughs> As an empty husk, that is. Rough deal. Malice doesn't hold back, huh? That's not how don't works. blame me for this. It's our father who made us this way. But don't worry. Once I meet him, I'll get the answers we're after. Oh, is that the blade? I need to know why we're like this. In any case, this world only needs one Aegis. Don't you agree, Pyra? <laughs> what if... Pyra and Malos made babies? Would there be more Aegises, or would this those just be blades? What do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section section below if you think that that would make more Aegises or just some blades. Let's see. Make sure to like and favorite and subscribe. I like how we did all this in front of this random dude, by the way. <laughs> this fucking random guy was just like, I I just witnessed something I don't think I should have watched. <laughs> That's great. Also, apparently this is the worst section of the game, according to some people. <sighs> Wonderful. I look forward to it. Don't mind me. Best music? Okay, let's check this jam out. Yo, I like these crystals on the walls. It's a nice random touch. <gasps> oh, well, there he goes. Joel Mack, what are you stumbling for? Sorry, my lady. I've been feeling a little dizzy. You too? You too, Lady Bridget. Oh, blades can't work here, yes. huh? For a little while now, though I'm still capable of standing. Hey, same here. 
What's up with this place? It's kind of creepy. What is going on here? I feared as much. Gramps, you knew this would happen. The tales say that Spirit Crucible Elpis saps the strength of blades. It's one of the reasons why none have ever returned from its depths. I say. Ether flows scarce in this area. That may be cause of problems. Like that time in the Tantalee's palace? That not only thing. Glowing particles in air. They absorb ether. That is source of light. Oh. So not only do you have less power, the power you do have is being absorbed. Well, that's jolly tragic. You were right, Poppy. Poppy just fine. Poppy never better. Of course. You're an artificial blade, aren't you? Okay, so come with me if you want to feel all sapped and drained and weak and stuff. But yeah, it's, it's all good. Poppy's the greatest, man. Let's see. Like, we all need a robot made in our fucking lives. Android made. Whatever you want to call her. We have to cross that. Yes, but we must proceed with caution. Once we enter, the blades will be sapped of most of their power. If they run out of energy, they might be forced to return to their core state. Ooh. And there's a chance they could never be reawakened. Holy shit. Pandy, you'd better just stay here and guard the fort. Why just me? Don't you want me? Don't ask dumb questions. You know very well why, don't you? If I'm staying, you ought to stay. I'll be fine. When am I ever not? If you're going, I'm... I'm ordering you to stay here. Is there something wrong? Pandoria was just agreeing to stay behind. No, -uh! I'm going with you. We made a promise, didn't we? Don't you dare say you've forgotten. Ugh. I go where you go. End of story. Oh, fine. My lady. This is so cute. Fine. We can't give up now we've come this far. Don't. I know what you're going to say. I understood. I don't know what's in there. But apart from Tora and Poppy, we're all going to find our abilities severely weakened. Be careful, Rex. Yes. Healing arts are going to be less effective, too. One nasty wound, and that'll be the end of you. Yeah, I get that. Tora, Poppy, we'll need you on the front line. You got it, Rex Rex! Poppy is artificial blade, so request is very extremely not a problem. Technology save the day! Three cheers for no one know how! Where are Poppy's cheers? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, boy. Well, hold on a second. Okay. I'm going to move a little bit more forward to see if I can pick up a quick travel thing, maybe? Because I'm yet to be able to quick travel all the way here yet. Because I got to do some tweaking and such. Uh seems worth following. Run! Don't mind me. Da, da, da. Okay, cool. So here's I gotta do something really important. Uh, don't Don't mind me. Tiger, tiger, time! Close eye out for trouble. Fuck Where do yes. we go from here? The best time. Ah. Here we go. Stretch this 